In this video, I'm going to show you how to package and zip your file so you can upload it. I'm using a finished magazine design that was designed by one of my former, former students, Ashley Seifker. As you can see, she has her cover finished, the inside this issue table of contents, whoops, sorry, inside this issue page, if you scroll down to the next two pages, and she has a full spread. In the slug, she has the URL from where she found the information to give credit to the original author. So once everything is ready to submit, you would first go to File, Package. And you want to look for errors. So this one says there's one missing font and it says that there aren't any missing images. So we can see what font is missing and it said this this font is missing. The reason it's missing is because I didn't design this. I didn't I didn't download that font from my computer. But in your case you want to make sure that none of these are missing and if you need to find the font maybe you can re-download it um, and it'll automatically populate. For the links and images, you want to make sure none of those are missing either. If any of them are missing, like right now it says zero, but if any of them are missing, it's because you either copy pasted an image into your file or you saved your image in the downloads folder instead of the correct folder so InDesign could find it. But either way, you want to make sure that all of your images are together in your magazine folder so InDesign can find every single one of them. Once all of your errors are, are fixed and you don't have any errors at all, everything says zero missing, then you hit package. Publication must be saved before continuing. Save it now. Yes. So you would save it in your, let's start all over. I'm going to go into my magazine folder and I'm going to save it in my magazine folder. At this point, a dialog screen will come up and it will want you to check off everything that you want it to include. The first three you, want, you definitely want to check off. You want to copy the fonts, you want to have the linked graphics, and you want to have the updated graphic links in the package. You also want to include a PDF. When you have all of these checked off, you can ignore the other, the other ones, but when you have all four of these items checked, and you also have named your file, so this should be last name magazine, or you can put your full name like she did. You would hit package. So I'm gonna, if I did, well, I'll just leave it like that. Um, so if it, if she did last name magazine, you want to make sure it's in your magazine folder, in your PR folder that we made at the beginning of the semester, and you will hit package. So once it's packaged, you'll go into your documents, and I saved that. Again, you should have saved it in your PR4405 file, file folder, in your magazine folder, and you should see in your magazine folder a new folder that's been created. This is your packaged folder. So it has last name dash magazine. So I've got my document fonts in their own folder. I have my links, which are on the, all the photos of that magazine. I have the InDesign file and I have the PDF. I would rather the PDF be saved as a spread, so if for some reason yours doesn't come through as a spread, you can go back in your InDesign file and export, so Adobe PDF export. And I'm going to go back into that packaged folder. I'm going to save over that PDF. Hit save. Hit replace. And on, in this case, I'm going to make sure it says spreads. And hit export. So opening up my, oops, hit close. Opening up my finder again. 
I should, I'm going to go back to that original folder. I have my document fonts. I have my links. I have my InDesign file. And I have my magazine spread in as a spread. So I've got the two pages and the next two pages. If your folder looks exactly like this, you are ready to compress or zip. If it doesn't look like this, start the video over and try again. But moving forward, you would right click your folder, the main folder that has your last name magazine. You would right click that item. This is your packaged one, again, that hides the fonts, the links, the InDesign file, and the PDF. And you would hit, if you have a Mac, you would hit compress. If you have a PC, you would find, it says send to, somewhere on here it will say send to and then you select compressed folder. So it all depends. Mac, you just hit compress. PC, you hit send to, and then it'll be like a little arrow like this, and then you choose compressed folder. So for my um, Mac, I'm just gonna hit compress. And what that does is it creates a zipped file. This file right here is what you are going to upload in your major assignment file on D2L. So the zipped folder is this exact thing. It includes all of these things, but it's zipped up in one file so you upload one thing only instead of uploading every single one of these together. 